what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i don't know if you guys can hear that you probably can hear that Man, my ps4 just be making these weird ass noises bro <laughs> it just be like it's ready to go you know what i'm saying and i'm not even trading it in to get my ps5 and i'm waiting i still can't get a pre-order for my ps5 man it's it's sad i know but i don't have no problem waiting there's a couple of games that i have that i want to experience first on the ps5 get that real nice crispy look you know what i'm saying a lot of the games that i have that i have not played some good games um spider-man a couple of games you know what i'm saying but that's not what we're here for we're here to watch high q okay finally i think this I think this ep these episodes comes out on Friday, so I'm going to try to get these done on Saturdays. I checked today because you guys still failed to tell me when these episodes come out. You did, nobody told me. People just keep saying like three, four days after. They're like, where's the Haikyuu reactions, man? It's just like, dude, you got to understand. I have, I'm busy, man. I'm not keeping up. I don't know which day. So now that I know, I had to go and check for myself. Mind you you know what i'm saying well you're not really running away from spoilers really because i'm already caught up to the show so there's really nothing out there unless it's about the episode itself that would spoil me right so now that i know that the episodes come out on fridays i'm gonna try to react to them on saturdays okay so we're still in the middle of this match karsuna has taken the first set so that's good I don't see them walking through this team in two in in two straight sets. I don't see them doing that. It's gonna be a tough ride. I think the other team. I think they're going to take the second um, set. But let's see, man. Let's run. Let's go watch it. Cause I know a million. All well, a million. What am I saying? I know y'all are already gone to watch a reaction. But if you stay to watch my intro, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the like button. And let's go watch the reaction, and I will see you guys right back here for the review. All right, season four, episode 17. I like it. I'm gonna hold you up. I like the fact that they took an episode to concentrate on what Nekoma is doing. And I think I'm going to get what I was hoping for, which is the Nationals finals to be between Nekoma and Karasuna. Now, the build up to that gotta be epic, of course. I know that is a match that you heard me say throughout my reactions that I really wanna see this take place. And I think that's what the end game of this anime should be. That's just my opinion. I think that's the end game that they built this up from like, I think it was like maybe like the really early in season one, they've been built in, they built this rivalry and told us about this rivalry and they never got to play on a big stage. They never played each other on a big stage ever. They've always just done practice matches. So the battle at the garbage dump needs to happen at nationals for me to be satisfied at the end of this anime it just needs to happen okay we need to see these two teams i think you know a complete and utter dis utter devastating offense basic uh, against the real kind of defense in volleyball don't get me wrong that they take is good but they ain't no nekama let's just be honest <laughs> you know what i'm saying they're not nekama because nekama they just keep the ball up they keep it keep it going so they're they're really a hard team to go up against you know so i'm really hoping that we get to see that but anyways the match that they're in right now these guys trying to break down their defense trying to tire out um you know ken my they're trying to tire him out so that they can have the upper hand because if you tire out the brain the rest of the body can't function can't function properly you know what i'm saying like if your brain is tired all you want to do is sleep you know what i mean you can force yourself up you know what i'm saying drink some coffee or whatever the situation but at the end of at the end of the day 
your brain is tired you just want to rest period so i don't know if they're going to take him out maybe give him a breather or whatever but whatever they need to do to win this match they need to do it um so yeah man so they, they really did a good job and you know i've just been noticing since i've watched these four episodes now since part two of season four started the animation is just not it's just not what it used to be and it's obvious that it the quality of it dropped i don't know if i'm the only one that noticed i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one people are just enjoying the anime and it's not that i'm not enjoying it the animation is still fluid when they're playing you know but it's just the quality the crispy animation like very detailed animation that we used to have for haikyuu it's just not there you know and as i said i'm gonna blame it on covid because i know maybe they just can't they don't have the manpower to really get this done and maybe the demand you know maybe the studio was like oh we need these episodes you know you know it's not like America where people can just walk off jobs and be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And be like, no crunching. You know, in video in video game studios, they have crunch, which everybody's like, oh, there shouldn't be any crunching. And people always make this argument. And I'm like, what are you talking about? People work overtime all the time. It's not like they, they're working for nothing. You know what I mean? Like, these people make good money. They're not making... You know, a lot of times the, the problems that I see America complain about, some of the times I really have to wonder, like, why is that a complaint? Companies do this all the time. Don't get me wrong. It can go overboard. I get it. You know, you can overwork people. I know that. But when there's a project going on and there is a dead line, when there is a deadline for something to to happen it's all hands on deck so i don't understand i've never understood this crunch thing where everybody's in an uproar about crunch in gaming studios and i'm like uh you get what i'm trying to say like it happens it's something that happens it happens you get what i'm saying so if you know sometimes you do have to make last minute changes last minute fixes last minute bugs fixes for games and stuff like that and you're gonna need some extra man hours to get that done so you can meet the deadline you understand no gamer likes to hear oh we're delaying the game because of this and that and they don't want that because it, you can lose hype you can lose a lot of stuff about your game you might not make as many sales for launch if people you keep pushing back the game because you don't want you don't have your workers doing overtime to get the job done right and i get it man you know people is it like oh people should only work eight hours in a day eight hours is a long time to work some of these people are not working eight hour shifts you get what i'm saying but they're complaining you know what i mean like crunch is just a part of the work life in my in, that's my opinion i just feel like crunch is just a part of the work life but i guess not you know what i'm saying you just just something else for people to complain about i guess that's how i'm looking at it so it is what it is but not to say that i'm encouraging you know companies to overwork their people you know what i'm saying but i think i mean you have doctors you have nurses that work 12 hour shifts you know what i'm saying and they make good money people in the gaming industry you know what i'm saying they make good money you know what i'm saying i'm not saying they're making millions you know as workers as you know graphic designers and you know coders and all of this stuff i'm not saying that they're out here making millions but they're making five to five to six figures a year they are this is what it is and i know that for a fact but you know they don't want to they don't i guess you know if, if you ask them to work a 12-hour shift it's a big deal to me working a 12-hour shift is is not that big a deal it's just not because you know you know some of these they're gonna be like oh some of these people they got kids and they gotta go home to their kids listen man <laughs> listen man you want to achieve your goals 
you better get on that shit anyways um hi q man very good stuff and as i said uh, i can't blame the studio i have to blame it on covid because i think they, they just don't have the manpower to really get out that dynamic animation that they used to give us so you know they get a pass right but everything else still pretty good they still doing you know pretty good um animation nonetheless you know what i'm saying it, it dropped from a 10 out of 10 animation down to probably like an 8 or a 7 so i wouldn't say it's a significant drop but you know what i'm saying but it it, it it is what it is i'm still enjoying it it's still watchable <laughs> you know what i'm saying god knows it's not freaking studio perry out of perry whatever they call themselves that does did dragon ball super oh my god that shit was awful for so many episodes it's ridiculous and then when the hype episodes come you really see what they could do because they push the budget towards those episodes this is not the case for haikyuu though because i mean four straight episodes with mediocre animation it's you know what i'm saying you can't you can't bl <laughs> you can't necessarily blame that when they you compare to what they used to do you know what i mean so but in any case guys that's all i have to say hopefully nekoma pulls through this match of course the saint you know it, it is what it is so we'll see how it goes we'll see how it how they turn up to get this match um done i do believe that they're going to survive this match if they're if they don't i'm going to really be disappointed to be honest because they'll be out of national and they won't get to play karasuno at all I just want to see them play. I don't care if it's the finals. I just want to see them play. I think this would be a really good match and really good heightness for the anime itself. But in any case, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I will see you guys for the next one. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace.